hello friends welcome to this video so in this video we will look at how to build out a simple youtube video search kind of application inside react.js so you can see on your screen this is actually the demo of the application so we have a simple input field where we allow the user to simply search a search term they will enter whatever subject that they want to search youtube videos on and let me search for javascript videos so we have a search button as well side by side so if you click the search button a request will be made to youtube data api version 3 and we will fetch the videos the top five videos and it will show in the card like structure using bootstrap so we actually use bootstrap for building this user interface that you see in a card like structure we have the thumbnail of the video we have the title we have the description so all these things are fetching from the YouTube data API. So I will show you in this video how to work with that API and get these results and display it in the browser. And when you click the button, you will be redirected to the actual video and where you can watch that video. So you can actually search for any subject right here, PHP videos and then search. You will now see the results about PHP. So let's start building this application so all the source code is given in the description of this video so now to get started uh, you need to install two packages for this for building this first package is react bootstrap and the base bootstrap package so in order to integrate bootstrap we need to use these packages so in just install this using this command i have already done that so i will just start this application and pm run dev so i will start it from scratch so first of all we need to build out a simple app level component so this is the actual shortcut key so if you refresh you will see it will hot auto reload and it will automatically start whenever i make changes so i write here for this application first of all we need to declare some state variables using the use state hook in react.js so first of all we will have the variable for storing the search query so whatever user searches in the search field we will have this use state variable initial value will be empty and then we will have the variable for holding the total number of videos that will be fetched from the api so this will be an array initial value will be an empty array so the then the next thing will be a, a simple loading screen that I will show you, uh, show to the user when they click the search button. So initial value will be a boolean value which will be false, it will not be showing. And then for if any sort of error take place, we will sh actually sh uh, store these error messages in this uh, error or set error variable so initial value will be again be empty so these are the four variables which are required for this application the search query videos and loading screen and error these four state variables are required and now as i already told you we do need to require an api key because you are communicating with the google api so just go to google cloud console and create a free account i've already created that and then you need to click on create create credentials and uh, then just create an api key i have already created one so what i will do i will simply copy this api key so don't copy my api key i will delete this key after this video so just you need to create a variable and just store this api key that you will use so just create a constant variable api underscore key and just store this variable and now we need to write the actual interface so in the jsx you will actually have the container class which will be imported if you see from react bootstrap we have installed this package so once these are all bootstrap widgets which are there in this and we need to give it a class name of bootstrap margin from the y direction for and inside this we will have a heading which I will simply say YouTube video search and we just need to align it in the center of the screen so we will align a class text center and if you see the bootstrap will not be applied we do need to import the base bootstrap package the CSS file so it is located inside bootstrap disk CSS bootstrap min.css 
you just need to import this CSS file as well and now if you import this you will see it is appearing in the center of the screen so after you do this uh, we need to have a simple form inside the row tag So we will attach this bootstrap class and then we will have a simple column interface. And inside this we will define our form. And this field will be of type text where the user will enter. So here the type here will be of uh, text. We will be giving a placeholder for the user. So here the user will search for videos and the value will be the search query. We have declared the state variable and we also be attaching a on change event handler. So when the value is changed, this inline function will be executed and we will use this use state hook function set search query and whatever is the value entered by the user, we will simply pass it. So here we are simply using this hook function that we declared of use state and then we are simply setting the state and if you just refresh your application there is some kind of error is there it is saying that form is not defined we do need to import the form as well just import the form control from react bootstrap and you will now see a search field and here you can enter anything and we also need a button to actually submit the form so just after this input field we will have a button the variant of this button will be of primary and we will basically attach an on click event handler which is handle search so this function uh, will be executed when you click the button and now we just need to define this function so we will simply say const handle search so inside this we will actually perform the api request and inside this button we will actually give it a disabled attribute and this will depend upon the value of loading so this button will not be disabled because the value is comes out to be false we also need to have a label to this button as well so we will, based upon the loading parameter if the value is true then in, the, in that case we will say searching but if the value is false then the label will simply be search so now the value will be search because the value of loading here is uh, false if you check we have given this value as false you will see this is so now as you click this we now need to actually write this function which is handle search and inside this function we need to actually have first of all if condition just to check that if the search query is so here we are simply checking if search query is not defined then we need to simply return for this from this function but now if the search query is defined if the user has entered a search term first of all we need to show the loading screen and for doing this we need to change the it from false to true so here we are using this uh, set loading function and making it true and if you now click the search button you will actually see it will change from search to searching we are showing a loading screen so after this we also need to set the error variable so no error is there we will set the error to nothing and we will basically set the video data as well which is an empty array we will reset all these variables once we click the button so we are executing all these three state variables uh, methods one by one and now we will actually perform the api request to youtube data api version 3 and inside a try catch block so if any sort of error take place we will set that error to the actual error so now in the try catch block we just need to make a simple request and we will use a await because we do need to make this function as async so just make that function async 
So we are simply using await and then we'll use the fetch API which is a built-in API inside the you can directly use fetch and then we'll make this to the endpoint which is https www.googleapis.com slash youtube slash version 3 slash search and then here you need to provide a question mark the part variable is snippet and then q parameter so this is actually the structure of this api so we provide slash search question mark part is equal to snippet and then the whatever is the query parameter so q is equal to and then we will concatenate the we will simply embed the dynamic search query that the user submit and then here you need to provide the key parameter in the key param which is the actual api key and here we need to return a video so and the type variable here will be a video that's all this is actually the structure of the request if you see we are providing the search query we are providing the api key and we are providing this type variable to video so after doing this we will make this request and this actually will return a promise we first of all need to convert this into json so again we will simply say await response dot json and then we will set whatever is video data variable to whatever is coming so data dot items so i can even console log the data just to uh, show you whatever is the data coming so if you write something here and just search the search button and uh, nothing happens here but if you see in the console there is an object which will return to you and we have this items so by default five videos will be returned to you and each video has some properties attached to it such as the title description publish date publish time this is a thumbnail of the video so all three thumbnails default high medium so we can actually display this information on the browser very easily so we can loop through the data so for doing this it's very easy so after you set this set video data items and there is also a finally block as well if nothing is executed then we also need to hide the loading screen so set loading to false so after you do this uh, right after this button we will actually display if any sort of error take place so we will display this error we will give it a bootstrap class alert alert danger and inside this we will display the error message simply and now we will be looping through the results so we will have the row tag and we will have this jsx condition that if this variable which is uh, the video data if the if it has some data here we will use the map function and for each video we will actually show the data inside a column we will attach this key here which is uh, video dot id dot video id and on medium devices it will be four and we'll also be actually be giving a bootstrap class margin bottom four and inside this we will show the video in a card like structure we have this card uh, element available in bootstrap so we are using that and inside that we will display the thumbnail of the video by using card image and we will actually use the variant top variant and for showing the actual thumbnail the source property will be it is located under video snippet dot thumbnails we will show the medium thumbnail url so if you refresh now search for videos So there is some kind of 
uh, it is saying that video is not defined uh, Uh, let me just paste this and then show to you so let me just refresh here and you will actually see the videos will display it was just a typo mistake uh, let me just delete everything here So you will basically see this is actually the thumbnails are showing right here so we are showing these thumbnails the five thumbnails are there so we have using the top variant video snippet thumbnails we are showing the medium thumbnail so after this thumbnail what we need to do we need to have the card body class so inside the body we will actually show the information about the video which is the title so card title will the title will be located inside videos dot snippet dot title and for the description we will actually use this widget which is card dot text and the description is located under video snippet dot description so if you refresh now you will actually see your title appearing description short level description and then lastly we need a button so that the user can go to that video and watch it we have this button and the variant will be a primary button and the href property here will be slash watch question mark v is equal to and then we need paste the video id so video dot id dot video id and it should open in the new window so target blank and we'll basically have a label which is saying watch video so there will be this buttons appearing you will see if i click the buttons it will open the video in a new tab so in this way you can communicate with the youtube data version api 3 in react chairs to build out this youtube video search application so i have shown you from scratch how to do this inside react chess so it's a very simple application it uses bootstrap for the user interface and if you need the full source code the link is given in the description and thank you very much for watching this video and do check out other videos as well and also my website which is freemediatools.com which contains thousands of free tools regarding audio video and image and i will be seeing you in the next video